Okay, we're getting a uh, TV of the Earth. Uh, we uh, see the Terminator, and uh, you're getting it centered up pretty well right now. Good morning uh, from Apollo 10. Uh, we're now approximately 38,000 miles from the Earth, and we're starting to accelerate rapidly as the Earth's influence becomes felt more and more the closer we get. We're doing now approximately 7,500 miles an hour, and we're five uh, hours out from our final um, entry into the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, this morning, as we look out there, we can see part of China. Uh, India is the most predominant feature, but also we can see Saudi Arabia, the Gulf of Oman, and the Indian Ocean at this time. Tom's going to zoom the TV into the Gulf of Oman. Uh, let's see what you can see there. Okay, that's full zoom into the Gulf of Oman. The Gulf of Oman is in the center left part of your picture. How does it look down there? Okay, then uh, the globe is about filling the screen at this time. And uh, we can see the darker land masses. And uh, the Gulf of Oman is... Uh, not apparent to a novice, I guess you might say. But it's a beautiful picture, and it's coming through well. Sure is a beautiful picture. I guess you might say that the artist that painted that one is a master. I know that looks real good to you guys, and... Uh, Closer you get, the better it looks. Jack, uh, one reflection uh, that we felt very strong about as we show you our last telecast here uh, of the Earth is that we felt very strong about uh, sharing with you some of the uh, adventure, the excitement, the challenges, and the rewards of these eight days. And uh, through this endeavor, we hope that we've made you and uh, millions of people of the world uh, uh, more of a part of the history that's being made in our day and age. Well, I know everybody around the world has appreciated the uh, TV pictures and all the effort you went to to make them good. They've all been excellent. And I know it's given everyone a better feeling for uh, what we're actually doing and a better appreciation of the program in general. Okay, some, some final just color uh, thoughts as we look in there. India appears to us to be a purplish tan over uh, you see that the, the sun, the solar sun point, is right in the Gulf of Oman now. It is nearly a yellowish bronze. Beyond that, we have Saudi Arabia, and Saudi Arabia to us looks a sandy orange. Uh, up to the right, up near the very top of your screen, it's covered mostly with clouds, and this has been the cloud cover that's persisted over the northern part of the world ever since we left uh, Cape Kennedy nearly eight days ago. Down below to the left, the long straight cloud is part of the uh, ITC that you can see, and, or even down in, further than that into the Indian Ocean. But uh, throughout these telecasts, you can see that the, uh, the majority of the world is usually covered with clouds. Over. Uh, Roger, Tom, and I think the people around the world are uh, kind of sad to see this to be the last uh, TV shot from space for a while. And I know that they've... Uh, I know that they've been uh, very interested and uh, enthusiastic about the uh, pictures and the total flight. Uh, Roger, it's uh, kind of uh, a feeling of uh, same way for us to not see these beautiful views. Of course, uh, we're certainly looking forward to be back on the good earth in about five hours. And it's really been a fantastic uh, overall flight for us and some of the experiences that we've had all the way from liftoff on the Saturn V to seeing the Earth and Moon, the lunar orbit to work, and then to climb out from the Moon and all the way back. And why don't we take you inside the cockpit for one quick minute.
Okay, we have it inside the cabin now, Tom, and uh, we got a uh, pretty good look at a clean-shaven command module pilot there. This is uh, your old retired philosopher speaking to you from outer space and telling you that TV is on its way back. All right, Roger. Thank you for those words from the old retired philosopher. And uh, we have a little, uh, we have a little more work to do, and then we'll be back. With you. It'll sure be great to be back. It's been uh, utterly unbelievable. The mission has. We really enjoyed every bit of it. So until we see you again, we'll uh, say so long. Okay, we'll pan over on the uh, right side of the cockpit. Here's Commander Gene Cernan. Dean, how about saying a few words in the microphone? Okay, Jack. Uh, I can't tell you what a rewarding and satisfying experience uh, this has been. Uh, it's had its moments, as I said. I'm just thankful that uh, through the medium of television, we've been able to share it with so many people in real time. Uh, I'm convinced after uh, this mission, uh, none of them are going to be easy. Uh, but nothing is impossible, and I think uh, the future of manned spaceflight uh, from now and for many generations to come is going to uncover many, many other new challenges and experience that we yet are really incapable of even conceiving at this time. It's been a great eight days. Of course, we're looking forward to get home, and I guess next time uh, we'll be talking to you and seeing you. We'll be, be back on the ground. Thank you. Hello there, Skipper. Good morning. Well, on the final close-out telecast of Apollo 10, we just want to say that uh, it's just been fantastic, uh, the total views that we've seen on this total mission. And again, like Gene pointed out, uh, no mission's easy. And uh, it's been a lot of work, but we've enjoyed the whole thing greatly. And also, the main thing is we've been able just in real time on some of the the major parts of the mission to share this with you. Uh, like we pointed out, that fantastic view when he left the moon, uh, man has certainly progressed a long ways in just such a short few years. And what, how much we're going to progress in the future is left to your imagination. But if we harness our energies and keep our perspectives right, uh, the goals are unlimited. And uh, we want to take you back out to show you one last picture of the world. Now, wait a minute. We want to show you a couple other people that's been with us here. Um, we can't here. We've got the spacecraft fairly well stored. In fact, we're running about an hour and a half ahead of schedule on board the spacecraft. But uh, as you know, we had uh, the lunar module with us, which we nicknamed Snoopy. And uh, Snoopy, the, the ascent part of Snoopy is on its way around the sun now. The descent part is still in the orbit around the moon. And right now we're in our code nickname of Charlie Brown. And here's uh, again our little mascot, Charlie Brown, code name for the command module. And uh, Charlie Brown has been a real good boy. He's been with us all the way. The spacecraft has been fantastic with respect to its systems and its reliability. It's done a beautiful job for the whole program. And how does the color look for Charlie Brown down there, Houston? Uh, the color is perfect, Tom. Good morning, Charlie. And Charlie just wants to say good morning to all you people, and it's great to be on the mission. And here's our other friend that went along with us, and uh, for a code name, as we said, the part of it was on the way around the sun, the other part around the moon, so he's got quite a split personality, over. Here's the code name of our lunar module, Snoopy. And Snoopy it was a fairly good dog for us. In fact, it's a fantastic uh, vehicle to fly. But again, one thing I want to point out about Snoopy, this is a symbol of the manned uh, flight awareness program and, and represents the uh, good work and efforts of the hundreds of thousands of people who have uh, made the manned spaceflight program so successful. 
and the crew of Apollo 10, we just like to give all those people a salute and acknowledgement. And uh, this is one way of doing it, just by naming a spacecraft after their symbol. And so from the five of us, Gene Cernan, John Young, Tom Stafford, Snoopy, and Charlie Brown, we just like to say uh, goodbye. And here's our little symbol for the mission. And we'll see you back on the water in the South Pacific. In fact, we should land uh, about 300 miles east, east of Samoa in approximately five hours. So from the crew of Apollo 10, uh, it's been great being with you, and goodbye. Roger, thank you, uh, Tom. Uh, preparations are well underway for your uh, return and recovery, and we're looking forward to seeing you real soon. Uh, Roger, tell all the people around the world, Jack, and also in Houston, and MCC, what a great job they've done, and we'll see them back there shortly. Over. Uh, Roger, Tom, thank you, and uh, their congratulations to you and your crew. Over. Uh, Roger, we'll wait to get on board the carrier for that. <laughs>